live from the North Texas Comic Book Show. This is the Untitled Super Cool Nerd Show with Chris Danger. I am Jason the X. I am Professor Danger. How are you? And Hello, this Mr. is Danger. MC. Now I'm gonna go ahead after that sweet intro and go ahead and turn it over to Jason the X. Jason, come on in. Oh wait, a minute. you can see me on camera. Damn it, I can't really do that. Oh, Legitimately. yeah. That I way. tried. I tried. Yeah. Dude, sorry. I'm, I'm a little hoarse today, so it just makes that voice easier to do. All right, so guys, we're here at the North Texas Comic Book Show. At a very nice atrium, by the way. They, they set us up. This there. is the uh, the oh. Crown Plaza Suites here in Arlington, Texas. Conveniently located near Six Flags. It's right across the street over there. That's, you know, I'm probably going to sneak over there after this. Oh, do you know, you know, dude, after you go to Six Flags, there's a really wicked awesome uh, Poncho's Mexican Buffet over there. Pancho's Mexican Buffet. Raise the flag. But anyway, I'm waiting for the show to like load on my computer now. It's all... It's taking a second. It's loading and whatnot, so I'm going to go ahead and refresh it. But anyway, yeah, we are here. And if you didn't notice, we are one down. Yeah, apparently a certain member of our team is uh, in uh, sick bay right now. It's disappointing, but... Yeah, the good, the good news is, is she is currently literally in sick bay, but she is on the mend. She will be back with us very soon. Um, she has a well, we won't get into it, but let's just we say don't she, need, we don't need to get into all. Let's that. just say it's a really bad let's flu bug. Let's not put her business out. On really bad flu so. bug, but she'll Could be, be okay. We love her to death, and and uh, Muse, we love you to death, kid. And we want to see you back. Yeah, I just texted her. She she missed get the show. Well, soon. I'm looking at that camera right there. Right. Our new our new tree that camera. camera. Or that. If you yeah, go, we have tree cam this if you week. You can only see what we what what kind of setup we have this week. We're getting we're getting better at this. I gotta admit, we have tree cam five thousand here. <clears throat> but anyway, so yeah, North Texas Comic Book Show. Uh, MC and I came out um, a couple months ago and we covered this. That's right. Uh, these guys were really happy we came out. We told them, hey, we want to do something special for you because this is actually their one year anniversary now. And Very nice. They have big things planned for this show. They do, they do, and I've, we're already taking a look. It's you know, it's it's a you know, it's a smaller con, but I, I like the I like the smaller cons myself. Well, the, we're kind of going to be able to see it grow, so I like that. Yeah, it's like a mighty, it's like a, it's like an acorn that's going to become a mighty oak. We're hoping one of them will come over and talk to. Yeah, talk to us we're waiting show, for Chris from North. I, it, you know. Yeah, we're waiting for Chris from North Texas Comic Show to join us here momentarily. All He's these chairs are, hor- but and then there's Ooh. the one thing we have these chairs on tile, and they are. <laughs> They will mess you up in the ears, let me tell you. Uh, MC was it? oh, he... Can, are, are, is our camera still working? Are we still he, up? I think he did. Yeah, and check it out. We got a banner now. Oh, that's right. We have a special See banner behind here? us. See this behind us, guys? Now it tells you who we are. We're, 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 we're big time now. We're moving up in the world. Yeah, that's right. We're big time. Next, we're, we're going to get, like, hats and T-shirts. I'm going to... Uh, when I... Uh, I think we should wrap our cars. I think we should get some of those obnoxious trucker hats. I like trucker hats. Actually. You like the obnoxious? Do you like the obnoxious kind? You know have the you one with the knit, the, the knit back. You've seen the Squidbillies hats I have, so yes, I have. So I'm a big fan of the trucker style hats, but we'll get some regular ones too. Maybe we can give them away on the Kickstarter too. You know, that's yeah, that's earn something. up dough for this thing. So that's an idea. Oh, and you brought your sonic screwdriver today. Of course, a doctor never goes too far without his damn sonic screwdriver or his TARDIS. You Dude, know you're not a time lord. You're just a guy. <sighs> Sorry. Thank oh. you for crushing my spirits, Chris Danger. You're welcome. Anyway, I got to keep it. I got to keep it real. <laughs> okay, so you wanted to talk about uh, the topic this week. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're at a we're at a um, what would you say? We're at a little indie. We're at, a, at an indie show. We're at, we. This is definitely an indie show. Definitely an indie show. Everything's independent when it starts out. Yes, this is a, this is an eight this is an eight base show. That's and, the way. Uh, you, that's the way you tell people. Oh, I'm indie. That means you're starting out, pretty much. Yes. And I like I like the small shows. The small I like the big shows, but I also like the small shows because the small shows. I was telling uh, MC before we started the show today. These are the kind of shows that you could go dig in a box in a comet box, like a dollar box, and you can find some amazing some amazing treasures, or some cool action figures, or like like. Uh, and you're giving that back to me, Shatterstar, with the which I love the fi- I love the function on this Shatterstar. I'm gonna read the back of the box. No oh, lord. He's an alien warrior from another planet. Shatterstar's whole body has been scientif- sci- scientifically redesigned with the, to make him the ultimate warrior. He's been rebooted since then. Yes. Uh, now he's now he's what sort of human. I don't know. But anyways, I love his action. The with these figures back in the early '90s. I gotta hold him up here. His, fi- his my favorite function that he had was. Um, oh, I have to hold him up. 
Do I see him? Yeah, yeah. yeah now now we can see him. Can you okay, see him? You okay. Before we could. Okay. I'll put him over here. One of my favorite functions here. I'll put it right in front of his face. Um, one of my favorite functions. <laughs> 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 it's not in front of my face. There. <laughs> All right. Now it is. No, you get my action figure back. <laughs> Here, hold your figure. Okay. The coolest function about this figure is the is the uh, dual action arms that would do this. When you press the button, they go. Really? I wonder how that went. I wonder how that is. It's like these direct... No! You don't, you're not supposed to open no! it! No! No! I hear the value. No! I hear the value by like 90%, man. I waited to do that until we went on air. So that so thing's been in a box for 20 years. And now Came from a Walmart shelf somewhere into a, to a show... And now you've destroyed the value. Thanks a lot, dude. We hate Still you. Still valuable. I, th I think we should lynch Just him for that, I'm taking show. Jazz. Jazz is staying over this side this week. Keep him oh, safe. Man. Look, the, the did his arm pop off? No, the sword. It's it's a it's a hollow sword. <laughs> it's it's just like something Rob Liefeld would have created. <laughs> yes, it's a sword with holes. Oh wait, 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 no, wait. wait. I, you had maybe, it maybe on the, the, the thumb in the wrong the, maybe the thumb in the wrong hand. place. No, I didn't actually. It's <laughs> it's in the right spot. Oh man, let's. Why would you do this? Why would you do this? Look, the swords are they're <laughs> they're kind of wonky. Uh, that's why he, that's why Shatterstar should have stayed in the are box. The swords sideways. Just like a Rob Layfield uh, uh, comic. You bastards at Toy Biz. Well, oh. that was the big joke they were waiting 20 years to play on you, dude. <laughs> uh, and the show just goes off into the ditch. I am I'm not just happy kidding. about this. <laughs> But you can't. You can't <laughs> That's why it was ten dollars. The fists are molded. No, it's actually, they are molded fists. Because the, mold, the holes are molded, so you can only hold the swords this way. But on the back of this packaging, it shows him holding the swords the correct. Like Let's this. Let's get on with this. Okay, we we broke his heart. So, indie, getting getting into indie talk, man, because um, you know, as long as there have been mainstream comics, there's always been independent comics. Of I course, mean, plain and simple. I mean, you you've you've always had for every one Superman, you've had another guy who's just an independent creator doing a, you know, a dime store book uh, with a with a knockoff character or something completely original. Trust me, that's it's been throughout the history of modern comics. I, I mean, some of my favorite comics were like Strangers in Paradise. That was, uh, oh yeah, were those considered? Independent, because a lot of them, well, like Bone. Bone was carried by Dark Horse. Bone, right? Bone. Well, it had, yeah, it was. It was originally. I mean, but stuff like Cerberus or, oh yeah, uh, oh, yeah. you know, and and getting into like, you know, of course, like we'll the start Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles when uh, Kitchen was it? It wasn't Kitchen Sink. It was doing it. It was. Um, I thought it was always Mirage Studios. Yeah, Mirage Studios. But no, I was trying to remember because who was it? Mirage had always published the comic. I believe so. It was. Because they also did. You know, I remember in the day when they they did also stuff like like Lone Wolf and Cub. You know. Which or uh, uh, oh, go you, ahead. Or you know, we could we could always go back and talk about you know independent comics guys like guys like back in the day, um, you know uh, Robert Crumb. You know, even though his stuff was uh, it's a little tawdry, you know, a wee bit, a wee bit. You know, but he, of course he also did what he also. Uh, I mean, this guy did everything. He did everything from Fritz the Cat to uh, you know Mister you know Mister B Natural. I mean, that was that was true underground press back in the day. That was that was like stuff that you. Like you had to go ask for it behind the counter. I uh, or damn, I'm trying to wonder. I used to have to go to, like specialty comic book stores. I don't know if you oh, remember yeah. in Dallas, uh, Stage and Screen. I remember Stage and Screen because I bought a bunch of posters there. Stage and Screen was like the place to get comics that were not the mainstream. Absolutely. I mean, I would go buy. Um, I <clears> missed <throat> that store. Ah. Actually, I think they're still over by Fair Park, aren't they? No way. Did they close? I thought they were over I there, over by Rob's Chop I, Shop. I have looked for them. If somebody out there knows where Stage I just and Screen is, By the way, tell I me. just named dropped two local businesses, so I expect free movie posters and a haircut from Rob's Chop Shop. <laughs> yeah, I keep expecting that. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's in the mail. We're it's like, in the mail. It's Rob could be a high and tight, buddy. We're like F -less, maybe F -less a Mac -less celebrities. Okay? Maybe, a Mac, maybe a Matt Curtis. I, I thought it was Z. <laughs> I hope to be at least an E by the time I'm, hoping, the time I'm dead or something. You know? So what you're seeing is Kathy Griffin is slightly above us in the list. <laughs> Kathy Griffin will never be better. The late than Charles me. Nelson Riley was higher higher in the list than us. Oh Lord. Oh, we're now we're getting into like Hollywood. We're not we're not even at Hollywood Squares level, okay? Oh come on. So we're we're not we're not we're not Paul Lynn level here yet. No. Okay, just checking. I'm we're Paul we're Lynn. aspiring to Kathy Griffin. You're aspiring to be Kathy Griffin. Let's let's mark that. Mark that. <laughs> did it come with a card? It yeah. did. It came with a Warpath card. It came with a Warpath card. Wow. 
I have a calendar at home. I used to have this card. The Skybox this. card? I used to have this. You know who has a whole lot of Marvel cards that he just recently just rediscovered that he had? Somebody I know. Uh, 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 MC here. You know what? I looked online. They're they're next to worthless. They made so many of those in 1991 and 1992. They made a that, ton of them. That they are practically worthless. Unless you got one of the gold foil special edition ones. I remember ones. having to buy so many damn packs of those cards to try to collect, to try to finish off a collection. I wish Oh, I, yeah. I, I had a hard time. I was looking for my Fing Fang Foom, and I never found it. Yeah, this is X-Men Series 2, but the Series 1, oh, man. Oh, those were great. And those were after the Marvel Series. The cards used to be worth something. Cards are worth nothing now. Yeah. Unless they're Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and you have a scale in the backseat of your car to weigh them. Yeah, like somebody we know. <laughs> shout, out, <laughs> shout out to Sean. <laughs> we have to wait until... Uh, They're 40 years Sean's old gonna have to come on the worth anything. He's going to have to come on the show and tell that story. Well, yeah, he's got to come tell the tale. I think it'll be one of the funniest things oh, I've ever heard. Oh, man. Getting pulled over by the cops with a scale in the back of your car. What are you doing with that scale, boy? I'm weighing my cars. I'm weighing my cars, guys. That police officer did not believe that. I'm telling you. <laughs> right. Oh, boy. Either that or he thought it was so impossible he did believe it. Did the cop just – I wonder if he took out the um, He took out the test. He took out the – He took out the um, – You know, the – I just want to see the look on the cop's face the car when, test. when he tells Dust him it. that. I use it to weigh Yu-Gi-Oh packs, so I can tell which what ones. What the? <laughs> what the <laughs> hell is a Yu-Gi-Oh pack? Uh, how are our folks in the chat room? Do we have anybody in the chat room? Uh, nobody's awake yet, looks like. That's uh, right. because somebody uh, who's viewing us. Hello, person. Hi. Hello, mysterious individual. Thank mm -hmm. you for watching our show. Yeah, exactly. Please buy our, please buy our comic book. It's starting to pick up a little bit here because you do get people that come out to these shows, and uh, I think we plugged it enough on our, sh on our pages, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. We're, that came we're, out early. We're closing in on 11. People should be awake and eating. Oh, yeah. By the now. true nerds are, are coming out here. They'll probably be coming in by the time we're packing up and leaving. The nerds come out in the morning, and then they go in by afternoon. No, we don't come out in the morning. I'd be sitting at home drinking coffee watching the Ninja Turtles right now. Oh, you? Okay. Well, do you want to extend the show until 1230? Because also the uh, Ninja Turtles show is awesome. Isn't, uh, what's his Speaking, name? Since we're on indie stuff. Is it, isn't, uh, what's his name? Oh, because I know Sean Astin's doing Raphael. Uh, Raphael. Isn't Jason? Jason Biggs' voice Jason is Leonardo. Biggs. Yeah, I was thinking the kid from Jim from uh, American Pie. Uh huh. And the uh, guy that used to voice um, Rob, Rob Paulson, Paulson, who voiced Raphael in the original cartoon, is now voicing Donatello. Donatello. And I don't know who's voicing. Um, is that Angel. is the other guy? He's like the um, he's like the drummer in the Jimi Hendrix Experience. You know, you, you know who he is, but you really don't know what he does. I almost brought the Ninja Turtles to put them on the table here, but eh. isn't uh, Mae Whitman doing uh, April O'Neil? I don't know. May Whitman. She was uh, she was what's her name in Scott Pilgrim, the the goth chick in Scott Pilgrim. No idea who that is. She needs to come on the show. We need to get people on. The okay, show. Uh, she was also uh, need to come on the show. Ladies. She was also on uh, Arrested Development, which is one of my favorite shows. Is coming back. Oh, that, is it? Wow, it's gonna be back on. Uh, it's coming to <laughs> Netflix. They're gonna they're gonna release all uh, all ten new episodes on Netflix exclusively. IFC may get a run of it, but I think it's Netflix first. Anyways, let's get back on our topic because I want to get this train back on track. So, anyways, indie comics. I mean, I remember back in the day, and I'm. I can say back in the day now because I'm, you know, old of that age. <laughs> you would go to the, you would go to your like your comic book store, and I'll just name Dunkinville Books. That's where I used to go. We uh, used to, go to Lone Star used to be good for me. Yeah, too. well, Dunkinville Books, which I used to go to when I was a kid. Um, <clears throat> you would go and you would find okay, here's like you know here's the mainstreams. Here's your Superman, your Batman's, your your Justice League. You know, over here your Marvels, your your stuff with your Marvel. And then you would find a little section, you know, for independence, and you would find stuff like, well, Strangers in Paradise. You mentioned. Well, you know, at one time, Image was considered the Image was considered indie. Yeah. What about Dark Horse? Wasn't that Dark Horse was is definitely considered indie. Yes. I but mean, this, you would. This is where stuff like Walking Dead came from. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, that, I would still consider that an indie comic, even though it is now. Blown Image has kind of forced themselves back into indie status. I'd just like to add that. Yeah. By the way. You know, you would see, you would say, "Oh, look, hey, there's this company called Valiant. Let's see what they have." Valiant, Exo Man of War, Exo Man of War, uh, Solar, which they would pick up. Solar, they would pick up. They picked up old stuff like Solar, and they picked up stuff like um, Magnus Robot Fighter. You know, stuff oh, from like in the '60s, and they with and they the red it. skirt. Oh man. Yeah. What? I never got that. What? Why, why? Why did he have to wear a man skirt? I don't know why he. Why Magnus Robot Fighter wore? Well, Magnus Robot Fighter in the original '60s comic wore a wore a man skirt. He wore like a Roman man skirt, and then in the '90s edition, he yeah, did too. Yeah, wasn't very Roman, okay? Because that was a one piece. Well, no, Roman's actually well. It was kind of like a tunic. It was breezy. That's all. We it was have like to those know. Star Trek: The Next Generation man tunics from season one that you saw. It wasn't even like a kilt. <laughs> uh, oh, and they like wore the tights underneath. They them. wore the they wore the man tights. At least they wore tights. He was just you know bare leg with some 
some really high white boots, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, there were a lot of heroes like that in the day, man. They wore they wore some crazy gear. But no, I, I'm sorry. Name another male hero that wore a red mini skirt. Uh, Buck Rogers. Because I'm sorry, that's Flash skirt, Gordon. That skirt was way too short for him. And it's, I'm and it's I am a kilt. referring to no, it's a kilt. it was not a kilt. A kilt is like it was right a it was a Utila skirt. <laughs> It was it was like one of those sweaters, you one of those sweater dresses you see girls wear. It's the modern. You know what I'm talking. <laughs> Look, when it's high enough, where you possibly got to make sure things are hidden, S- strapped down, oh. maybe I don't know. Yes, you know, tightened up. And they always put them on the cover, like with some <sighs> downward shot. I swear, man. <laughs> be like this with a robot <laughs> in one hand and doing this to another. It's well, you don't want to have a, a, that's the, I, a uh, low angle shot. That would be no good. Okay, getting into other what I call indie comics, man, from back in the day. Still, still one that's kicking is seriously kicking butt is is heavy metal, man. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. heavy oh, metal, yeah. dude. Okay, that was the magazine. That was like the comic book magazine I would buy to. Well, let's just be honest. If Nudity. You're, a, you're a prepubescent boy and you could get your hands on a. Playboy, you would go get a heavy metal. I said nudity really loud in here, by the way. And those people just looked at us wrong. Well, you know that... uh, They were like, where? (laughs) They had great storylines. Oh, yeah. I mean, you had Captain Captain Stern, which was was a continuing... Was it Captain... Yeah, it was Captain Stern. Uh, They're like the HBO of comics. Yeah, they were were like HBO before HBO was cool. Yeah. And then you had really great, like, anthology stuff in there, and you had great... Boris Vallejo art in there. You just had all this stuff that was just so amazing, and you, you, you didn't see it anywhere else. I always like getting those, and then like seeing an artist who was actually very well known. Oh yeah, would I actually do a story in there? Well, I know Kevin Eastman did some stuff in there. Oh, well, he did a lot of stuff in there. I mean, oh he yeah, did fact two. And but uh, he did that. He did. He brought what Julie? What's when her he name? Was hooked up with Julie Strange. Strange. Well, he yeah. Was, like, married to her for a while. You know? yeah, yeah. He basically saved, he was the guy that kind of saved heavy metal for a while. I think we need to demand another Mattel animated Harant. movie. Demand another what? Animated movie. We need another one. Well, they did. They did. They did the original. They did that one with Julie. Uh, God, what's her name? With Julie, Julie Strain. Julie Strain. As uh, Fact Two. As Fact Two. They're doing the live action series, which I don't think what? has been picked up in the states. What? Metal Haran has not been picked up in the states, or at least I think they're holding off. That's one of those I would I would say, hey, you know, Showtime, why don't you go after that? Exactly. Or, or you know, or Reels. You know that channel on cable now, Reels. They should pick that up because they pick I, up. They oh pick yeah, up thirteen. I, I mean, come on. There's a, there's a good indie comic. There's Somebody a good indie French to make comic. A, a thirteen. Heavy metal series cable happen. Well, it's already happened, but it's just they got to pick it up. It's, well, I mean, it's European or something. It they, yeah, it's it actually in? distributed in Europe. Metal Heron has got a they've got a full I think live action series now. It's like an anthology series. Wh- which country made it? Was it Britain? Was it the, the UK? The French. Fr- oh my god. I mean, you would just, of course, you know, talk about other indie comics. Speaking of international comics, you can consider some. You know, it's like that's where I discovered um, Tintin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah I discovered Tintin. Tintin. You know, I was, I was this kid. It's like, oh, this is kind of cool. Where was that from? Was that? Uh, Fran- or no, Belgium. Belgium? Yeah, I was about to say that. You, you know, I love Tintin because it's like, you know, you'd have to, you know, of course, Tintin goes on all his amazing adventures around the world. And it's like, wow, this is kind of cool. I've never seen anything like this. And it got me interested in, like, literature. One of my, well, one of my favorites that's actually seen just mainstream release was uh, Sin City. Frank Miller, yeah. Yes, the Sin City series I was all about, man. Um, and that was they pushed the letter on a lot of things, especially you know, well, they pushed the letter. Period. Oh yeah, period, comma, With, exclamation point. Exactly. Maybe a couple of question marks in there, but. A semicolon. And with that, you know, something like League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Yeah, yeah Alan that's, Moore, man, I love LEG. That was. Totally, or LXG, yeah. Kind of not mainstream. People, oh man, this is a really good story. A lot of word of mouth. A lot of Wizard Magazine helping to promote this. Yeah, stuff. I, I, I loved. L- I like the original LXG. The, the, the subsequent stuff has been good, but it is also. I mean, there's, there was like, what was it? The one where he, they did uh, the '60s one here recently. It was about a year. It came out about a year or so ago. The one where they were in the '60s. I didn't get that one. That's why I think it had like Emma Peel in it and um, all this, and it was like it was like okay, it was kind of, I don't know, it kind of you know Alan Moore. I think as he goes down the road, has become more and more strange. As he just gets drunk and lets his hair grow. Yeah, as he just grows his hat, grows out his haggard. You know, he's he's not collecting his pee, is he? <laughs> Who knows? You're like Howard Hughes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's like the Howard Hughes of comics. You know, it's like Alan Moore has no. And is his toenail clipping? Has the anything? great has the big has the big rings on his hand and has know? no blanks to give anymore. Exactly. He's he's he a, just does not care anymore. 
let's see, he did what? Was it that fairy tales book? Which was just yeah. that, an object excuse to do some weird stuff. Yeah. I actually started looking up something because I never did see what the end of Strangers in Paradise was. I think the end of Strangers in Paradise was... How did no, I'm thinking Love and Rockets. Yeah. Love and Rockets. That's another where, good indie, yeah. Yeah, the end of Love, well, Love and Rockets was one of those books that, you know, really kind of, kind of, it was like a strong, there was like a lot of strong chicks in that book. Excuse you know, me, strong ladies. My I apologies. Noticed, I noticed a lot of comments from when we were talking about um, comics that you made into movies, how you picked a lot of indie characters. Yeah. But man, if you could have, because I get, I get fan mail. Um, I don't know why they send it to me. They never send me anything. I know. I get, I get bills. Or just like brief messages on Facebook. I get cease and desist tell, notices. But they were like, Flaming Carrot, really? Yeah, come on. I, no, I, I'm slamming you for this one. Flaming Carrot. Come on, the Mystery Men, which actually was somewhat decent. I'm not talking about Mystery Men. I'm talking about the damn Flaming, Flaming Carrot. Flaming Carrot was a member of the Mystery Men. He was the leader of the Mystery Men. <laughs> I mean, why, come on, Chris, why? come on, it was, it was cool. I think, you know, that's, that's another book. It's like, I love that basically you had these books like, you know, Flaming Carrot, Mystery Men, you know, you had characters like, you know, the shoveler. I mean, come on, <laughs> a middle-aged guy, a middle-aged guy who digs ditches, goes to church on Sunday and he's also a crime fighter, you know, Pull, pulls that shovel out and whips some, whips some people up. That's what he did in the comics too. Beats the crap out of some people. So within this discussion, we are, we are putting Image as an independent company. We could call Image, I would say 90s Image, you want to call it independent? 90s Image was definitely independent because they broke off and just said, we're doing our own thing. Yeah, what the fudge. Here we are. Because that, for me, that whole Image universe was my universe in the 90s. Oh, yeah. I, I grew up. Wildcats, uh, Youngblood to a lesser extent, uh, Wetworks. Wetworks, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wetworks was the book that they just kept delaying and kept um, delaying and kept I delaying. I kept waiting for that one. It's like, and when oh. they brought it, I was like, oh, because I love uh, Wallace Portacio's artwork. And, man, oh. I was. I'm, I'm looking through lists of stuff. This is the one that bothers me that they can't seem to get this one off the ground. Oh, the goon! Come they, on, who doesn't like the goon? There's been this like um, animated short for the goon on YouTube. There's two of them actually. Yeah. Two little like test image things, but they got Clancy Brown doing the voice of the goon oh, the and sweet, uh, sweet. Um, and uh, Giamatti. Oh, Paul Giamatti's in doing it. the voice of uh, his partner. In oh, crime. speaking of that, there, there's something else that that really should have got more attention. Is the Amazing Screw on hand? Oh, jeez! Oh, do, come on! You, you test my patience. Look, I'm your, pulling out the indie comics with here, your pal. obscurity. Oh, come on! I mean, it was kind of a cool concept. There was one animated pilot made of with Paul Giamatti as the voice of Screw on Head. Really? Yeah, there was. I have to find this. It was actually they showed it on Sci-Fi like for like like two years for it was like. They showed Garth Minnelli's Dark Place. Have you ever seen that show? British no. show, really absolutely funny. One of the funniest uh, um, horror satire series ever made. You know, these days since they're yanking up so many of these uh, series to be put on movies and television. Or and Garth and Gary's Dark Place, yeah. I would not be surprised if the amazing screw on hit somehow made it to the silver screen. Well, he worked for Abe Lincoln. He was a top secret agent for Abe Lincoln. Well, since we did include Dark Horse, uh, one of my... My favorite all-time characters, uh, my my buddy Wade is his all-time favorite character as well. Well, I wouldn't say he's one of my. I have so many favorite characters, but Hellboy, Mike Manola, man, I, I love Hellboy. Hellboy was the comic for me, and when they put it on screen, they did it right. He was the guy who got uh, you. If you want to honestly say somebody that got independent comics really a a solid, you know, mainstream eye was Hellboy. Well, which came first on the screen? I mean, not Hell Hellboy was Spawn. It. McFarlane Spawn. Uh, Spawn was, yeah. I guess unless someone can dispute me in the chat well, room. Well, Spawn, no, no, Spawn was first, and I think Hellboy came out uh, a few years later. But then uh, again, Wildcats uh, had a Saturday morning cartoon, though. Yeah, oh, yeah, but they changed the name of the and character so Hell did Savage Spawn. Dragon. But they turned they turned the name of Hell Spawn into Hell oh, to Hell Health Spot because he can say Hell on Saturday morning TV. It was. Or Health. What Spawn. did they change his name to? It was like Health Spot. I believe. Okay. Chatters, tell me please if I'm right or wrong. To the Google, I'm reading. Uh, I'm by the way. Now we're we're here in the here in the in the atrium of this really cool hotel. But they have a glass ceiling, by the way. Yes, it's actually. I'm very actually well watching. Out here. I'm watching here Sports Center over here. <laughs> Wildcats screen. TV series. Here we go. I paid attention to the show, but I'm watching Sports Center. So sorry. He's multitasking. Did they seriously change Hellspot's name? To Hellspont, I believe, because you can't say because Hell is one of those things you really can't say on Saturday morning television. I mean what? Oh, I didn't say bullshit. Oh, I mean, Lord. Did I say bullshit? I want to come back. Uh, sorry. We've gone into PG-13. Oh, sorry. 
Is this going to be like okay. PG thirteen L as sixteen candles? No, they no they did call him H E L, spot Hell Spot. It was all spot. one word. Not that was the spot, character's name. That was the character's name for the comic anyway. They didn't change anything. But they took the the other L out because it was H E L L. Nope. I thought it was H E L. Nope. Okay. One L. Okay. Well, thank you for correcting me. You're welcome. You. <laughs> dirty bird, dirty birdie. Okay. Anyway, That's so okay. now I, I liked. I mean, of course. Um, what was my favorite uh, indie comics? Indie comic. What was the one? Um, what was the super team? Uh, think, 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 think. God, I can't remember the name of the team. It was. Uh, they were like the X Men, but they weren't the X Men, and it wasn't Wildcats. It oh, was, uh, oh, wait a minute. Are you talking about the one series where everybody was a mutant and they were human? Yeah, and they had like they oh, were water. Geez. They had water bot, or they had like there was the guy. That who was had the, the body. dumbest series ever. There was the. Uh, so basically, everybody else on the planet has powers except for these eight people. Well, it sucks to be you. Oh, not that one, dude. I'm thinking. Um, okay. What was it? It was a. It was. I think Image wrote it. It was Ultra Force. Oh, Ultra, Ultra Force. Force. Okay. Yeah. Oh, with Prime and Heart Prime Ace and the guy and, that could uh, the guy that could turn into water. You know. Which I think they stole for the the first X Men. I I remember when the Ultra Force line came out, and then who bought them out? I think Valiant bought them. Valiant out? bought them out, yeah. Oh, and then didn't they do that in Ghost Rider too? They had that that one demon dude that was like water. In the second one. Oh, that was the movie. I don't. Uh, that was the movie. I don't know. I haven't seen that one yet, by the way. So you've never seen the first Ghost Rider? I've seen the first one. Oh well, then that's what we're talking about. I thought you were talking the second movie. Nope. Uh, oh no, it's the first. Oh, with uh, what's his name? Yeah. Oh, he said second. Okay. Well. No, I was mistaken. It was well, the first. They were clarified. So nobody wanted to get up this morning. Come on, you're all sitting at home, right? Picking your noses. It's cold outside. It's actually pretty nice outside, though. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a balmy 50 degrees outside. I know. Winter has finally yeah. started to <laughs> come this winter way. in Texas, yeah. Yeah, so. exactly. What, last week it was like 90s, though? <sighs> yeah, it was, it, was, it, was a, it was a warm 90 degrees. It does degrees. jump quite a bit around. Well, there. the good news is, is we're starting to get into that, you know, downward climb with <laughs> weather in Texas. where it's, We're going to start getting cold again. Downward spiral is more like it. Oh. Death spiral. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you going to see if his, if his dual arm action works? I don't believe his dual a action feature works anymore. Did you break it? Maybe. It's never been out of the box. I'm going to ask you a question. When you were a kid, did you ever do G.I. Joe surgery? Where you took, like, took like legs from one G.I. Joe put them on another? Did not have them, homie. Oh, that's right. Yep. How about you? How about you, MC? Did you ever do that? Yeah, we had to uh, replace rubber bands on quite a few. When I was a kid, I had a I had an ace. Oh, are you talking about like repairing them? Okay, yeah, yeah I've, I've helped my friends. Like, where you got to get like that rubber band so tight <laughs> to yeah. actually get it to stay. When yeah, I, you sure when do. I, I'll give you a story. I had a. Um, Rossi looks like he has like multiple sclerosis or something. <laughs> yeah, I had one. He had like I think it was ace. His legs came unhooked, so or something happened. No, no, it was. Um, they were not thinking long term with that rubber band in the middle of the gym. I will say this, however, my ace got. Was it ace or yeah? It was ace. Anyways, ace's leg came weird out. So what we did is we had to take it off and we put we put Snake Eyes' legs on him. Oh lord! <laughs> yeah, you could mix and match. It was pretty cool. <laughs> you know, it was Legos without the Lego parts. About the indie comics, though, one thing I do like about them is, um, well, you know me. Since we're on the subject, we know toys. You. I like getting indie characters in plastic form. It so rarely happens. I think um, the first that really started doing it was McFarlane. Yeah, McFarlane was He would kind of introduce, uh, like he did the Max, and he did uh, <clears throat> Shadowhawk, and he did a, like a Savage Dragon. Savage Dragon. No, no. No, it, Savage Dragon was completely different. No, he never did a Savage Dragon. Um, but he did like pretty much all the other image, uh, some of the image characters. Oh, he did um, Wildcats. That's right. Not Wildcats. Sorry. Youngblood. He did Youngblood. He did Youngblood. He did a whole, and he did Wetworks under his uh, banner. So that was, like, awesome for me. And, of course, he did his own action figure line, which was pretty good until they just started doing, like, statues. And oh, yeah. And then I kind of just dropped off. He's still doing toys. Well, they started doing the sports figures and uh, uh, buying buy Mark McGuire's uh, balls yeah. on the Internet. Yeah, those are – that was <laughs> – wh which one? I can't the left one or the right one? I can't believe you just said that. What? He, on, on – What? McFarlane totally bought Mark McGuire's balls on, on – Online or whatever, he's paid like a couple they were record. They were record keeping, weren't yeah. they? They were huge, man. I mean, and th I mean, they were slightly used, they were, but he they, did buy they, them. The stitching was still in them. Yeah, they were in relatively good condition too. Yeah. I think he ended up selling them anyway. Later, yeah, a little on. scuffed. Yeah, a little scuffed, but I uh, mean, those things went far. I'm just saying. I'm not, I'm not saying a thing. 
I'm not going to say And did you see – Everybody see. else knows damn well what I'm talking about, okay? There was oh, a, get your mind out of the gutter, MC. Please. You need, a, you need a healing. Must we go there? You need Sunday morning there? service. You need church. Oh. <laughs> Take you to church. What are you talking about? You have to put. You have to say baseballs. What? Everyone knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, everybody knows what he's talking about. I do. McFarland bought Mark McGuire. Dal, Dal sitting over here knows what we're talking about. She's shaking her head. She knows what we're talking about. Okay. All right then. But, you know. Okay. Let's let's I move on. I wonder if they shrunk over time. You know, considering. Well, yeah. Age and you know use get, storage. Get, <laughs> get yellowed and cracked. Yeah, you know. <laughs> We're being juveniles. I think we lost a viewer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm the only one. Trust me. There's okay. nobody up with us this morning. Okay, so but don't worry, we'll be on YouTube oh, um, later. Well, I, I was going to say, you know, one of my favorites, uh, just com you know, that already had a film made, and I think also it was a great indie series. And the guy, unfortunately, is no longer with us. That'd be Harvey P. Carr, American Splendor. Wow. I mean, seriously, come on, straight from the streets of Cleveland. I Where mean, did just, you find that one? Harvey P. Carr. I mean, no, I mean just it? how do you remember that? How do I know Harvey P. Carr? Because I used to, I have read quite sometimes a few American Splendors. Sometimes I'm shamed. Fanographics did a I, great run of them. Believe me, I'm not so much shamed by your nerd by your nerd knowledge here. I'm shamed that I know what the hell you're talking about. And that's sad. His nerdetry is much stronger than yours. yours. But then, there, but then there's something <laughs> like uh, nerd like, foo, like Bone. Bone, Bone was, Jeff Smith. Yeah. Bone was one of my favorite series, and when they finally made Bone action figures too. Yes. I'm making another in you and no. Anyway. Yes, you are. Would we, anyway. Let's not do that. Either. No, no, no. Bone was a great series by Jeff Smith. Um, I have those collected as well. It's just It was just a a fun, comical series. It had some serious points, you know, stupid, stupid rat creatures. Or what do you say? Stupid, stupid. Ah, what, did, what did Bone I, always say about I, stupid, stupid rat creatures? I think that's what he said, actually. Sparky, sparky, boom, man. Sparky, sparky. Honestly, I want to see a Strangers in Paradise uh, TV show. Oh, yeah. Strangers in Paradise will make a great TV show. Just run that whole, whole line. Just run it into the ground. I don't care. Run the whole damn thing. What the hell is that? I think somebody's sweeping. They're, we are they're in a hotel. vacuuming or something or buffing. They're, 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 they're flipping between breakfast and lunch. They're vacuuming. Soon we can get nachos. Well, there's food right over there. I already, I had, I already had breakfast. Yeah, I had McDonald's. It sucked. Na, 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 na. That's right. I'm going to drop my kids off. I'm going to get some sushi. Well, that's great. I'm going to oh. go home and pack. <laughs> that's right. He is moving to his. Uh, I'm moving to my new Moonbase, Casa uh, Alpha. Yeah, we're going to call it Moonbase Alpha. We're going to jeer. Or I was thinking about calling it Tracy Island. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm fixing up the X Cave as we speak, um, getting it all set up so we can. What do you think, Moonbase Alpha or Tracy Island? Which do you think sounds cooler? Well, people would ask more about Tracy Island. Or we're going to call it Skybase, like doing from Captain Scarlet. I like that better than Tracy Island. Hey, look, at least in my, in my Tracy That's Island, a I, can horrible watch name. Cool I can watch cool stuff from it's it. It's a horrible you know? name. Thunderbird 1, 2, 3. Telling you right now. I. Uh, speaking of just weird stuff, Thunderbirds, man, the puppets. I love Super Marionation. Uh, I love. I, I was actually reading a, a book on, on the. I hated the puppets, but I love the, the, the planes and ships. I was, and reading, I was reading this whole book on, on Jerry Anderson. And you know, just kind of what he's done and everything. And they talked about like that a real good huge chunk about Thunderbirds, and all like the innovative stuff they did with it. Like for example, uh, how they built like sets that would like for example, if they had cars in it driving down the road, how they would do the sets. You know, like they picked a little car and they put it like on a kind of like on a little um, what are those things? It's like a little treadmill, and then oh, just run the car, the oh. treadmill, and, 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 and you know, force perception and things like that. Kind of like the uh, Leonardo shot I took of the next waivers. Exactly. Okay. Hey. Absolutely. No, um, but yeah, and then of course all how they did all the models and how they did the super marination, you know, super marination process. Whereas they had the marionette or they had them hooked up and they had like a like a time tape recorder. I can't believe we actually shifted over to Thunderbirds now. Oh no, I, I'm just talking Jerry. Not Anderson my favorite well. topic. Oh, go ahead. I'm Sorry. talking Jerry Anderson. He's the, the guy. Really created a lot of really cool innovations. What we need, what we need is somebody to create marionettes for all the hosts on the show, and we do a marionette show. We just oh, do a whole no. episode of the show in Super Marionation. Those things creep me out. Super Marionation HD. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or no, as I did for, what was it, Cap New Captain Scarlet and Hyper Marionation. Oh, <laughs> oh excuse me. Sorry. You never, did you ever see New Captain Scarlet? It was, a, it was basically <sighs> their CG animated version of Captain Scarlet and Mysterians. It's actually pretty good. No one knows what you're talking about. Because. Yeah, we all miss that. You need... I'm sorry. I got my I got my Euro nerd cred here. So. Okay. How about this one series? Okay. Here's one series that was it was very independent, and then it kind of caught on very fast. Is what kind of right? Um, Scott Pilgrim versus the World. Scott Pilgrim. Oh actually, yeah. 
How did that, I mean, that caught on really fast as far as like, I mean, the movie was out before the series was even over, really. People like, apparently, I think it was the whole. And that's, only, me, that's only press. Excuse baby. me. Excuse me. The whole manga thing, as one person we know would say, uh, manga. Manga, manga. Manga. I don't know. I think my, my favorite term. Potato, heard, potato. My favorite hat. term I heard once someone said Japanime. And I was like, the hell are you talking about? Japanime? Ja- I'm not making Japanime? that. Japanime? I'm not making really? that. Really? <laughs> You're killing me, Smalls. I just could, I could only look at them with utter disgust in my eyes. Disdain. You cast dispersions upon them? A, a hatred like none, <laughs> like I have not experienced ever. 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 I'm going to have to get ad. Hi. Again. We have people again with the table. stupid ad block thing. Why on a website would you put, thank you for not installing ad block so that you can see our ads? That just makes me I've want to go install that, ad block. I've been getting that on my um, I've been getting that on Google Chrome you. recently. But that doesn't that doesn't uh, make me not want to. That just reminds me, oh, I didn't install ad block. I dislike your ads. Please leave me alone. Thank you. I, I wish I could send them back a message. Hey, thanks for reminding me to install ad block, jerks. You nerds. Anyway. You bums. All right, just writing a quick check here. Owly. Oh, sorry. Do you remember Alley as far as independent comics? Alley? Do you remember that one? Alley, Alley, Alley. I missed it. Okay. Nobody. Okay, I'm not even going to go into that. I'm thinking like, how about um, how about Kitchen Sink? Kitchen Sink did some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, they did. Um, one of my they did they did Clerks the comic book series. I'm trying to remember. Was Avatar? Did Avatar they get Press? A, did they get acquired by Dark Horse or were they on their own at one time or? I, think, I can't remember. Anything. I think they were, and then I think Dark the Dark Horse Empire brought them in. Oh, you think I may so? be wrong. Ooh, Fort Worth Museum of Science and History. Let's yes, we can see it. all kinds of stuff going here. Um, y'all need to come on down to the North Texas Comic Book Show, hey, where they got doing? stuff here. They I got like comics. Booth. They got some toys. I like her booth. Oh yeah, we like her booth. Hey, I love oh, the Fort yeah. Museum of Science and History. They got some cool stuff over there, man. We're passing by here. I haven't been there yet. I guess I need to go check it That's out. That's what you need to do during the holidays. You know what they're doing right now? They're doing their Titanic. They're doing the whole Titanic exhibition. They brought all the Titanic stuff in, including oh, nice. the boat. They, they brought the whole thing. They brought the whole boat. They raised it, and they brought it up to the museum. Oh. You can see it there. Why would anybody go see that movie? They're, I still women, have. Well, you know what? Do you know like, I still have yet to see Titanic? I saw it once, and I said I can't watch this movie because it depressed me so much. You know, I, I got depressed watching it. Tell me, I've told you my Titanic story. Tell me your Titanic story. I've never heard it. Okay. Um, I was dating a girl at the time, and she basically fought me tooth and nail to go watch Titanic. <laughs> and this was in your in your bachelor days. Unfor- yes, this is this way back. This oh. is when the movie first came out, oh, so God. that was a while ago. Okay. So hey, anyway, we got a little Batman coming in here. There is a little Batman. Oh, my God, it is a little Batman. Do you want to bring him on? And Roger Stark. T- the guy's got a Roger Stark T-shirt. I need, I need to wear that. But anyway, so <laughs> kicking and screaming, I get dragged to Titanic, and I don't um, – I come off of work, so I was really tired. And I fell asleep during the movie, right as uh, Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio's character gets on the boat. And then you didn't wake up till the end of the movie. I woke up and the old woman was throwing the necklace off the boat. Nice. And, and I was just like, "Huh?" You probably saved yourself. And then the credits yeah. start rolling, and I'm kind of, and the girl never caught it. We're driving, we're driving back, and she's like, "Oh, that was so good." And all I was like, "Yeah." When that boat started going down, whew, <laughs> man. <laughs> and well, then there was this part, yeah. And then those people out in that cold water, and then. Yeah, when the boat was going down, man. The boat sank. All, all I got Everybody is what I, what, I, what I saw in the commercials, like where the one guy like falls and hits the railing, you know. I'm just like quoting stuff I saw. In the really? Now, now, dude, I'll tell and you. To this day, I have not seen Titanic, and I am never going to see that movie. I'll tell you what. I knew somebody got me a Japanese bootleg of it many years ago on VHS. How do you know that girl's not watching and then saying, I knew it. I knew it. I don't care what she thinks now. She missed out. She missed out on that, <laughs> on all that. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm all attached now. So anyway. Okay. Anyways, so I digress. Oh, um, but anyways. I was looking for a previous so I was So right. I was bringing up American Splendor. Okay. What other, what other place would you get a comic about a guy going out buying a pair of shoes or going and, you know, having a cup of coffee? I mean, it may, it may, it may just, you know, the, the, the mundane actually interesting. 
I, I loved it. I mean, you know, of course, God bless Harvey Pekar is no, no longer with us. But yeah. But the cool thing is with Harvey Pekar, he would write the stories. He would write his life stories. He'd have people draw for it because the guy could barely draw. He had Robert Crumb draw for him. He had a lot of other artists draw for him. I mean, he did some pretty awesome stuff, man. So he, he was better at writing. He was a great – he was just – you know, the guy worked at the VA for, what was it, 30, 40 years? Wow. And that was his that was his side job. And back in the late seventies, early eighties, he started making American Splendor, and he just and it just kind of got this kind of cult following. Yes, you know, what I call what we now call a hipster following. <laughs> oh, if you're not <laughs> cool enough, man, you don't read American Splendor. I just realized the projectors we're looking at are backwards. Well, one is the other one is right is right side. Ah, that that makes sense. The wrong way. Sugar. What was it? Was it? What do they call um, uh, Choco Zuccarinas? What they call it? Frosted flakes or Choco Piper, Zuccarinas. Yeah. You know, you know, that's that's if you go to the the grocery store now, they they do Fiesta. Like, well, Fiesta they also do it. They do it at um, Tarjane. You can <laughs> find Choco Zucarinas. What oh. is that? The French? No, Zucarina no. is Spanish for. No, food. I mean the. Tar-Jane. I still have yet to find Super Spider Batman, which brings me to a challenge this week. Okay, what's our challenge Since this we're, week? We're um, we're moving into the new segment now. So it's eleven ten. Yeah. Um. I noticed that. Um, well, for. My wife, when she's on call, they have a pager. We're always talking about tech and everything. Pagers? Yes. We're really? Always, what we're is always, this, 1989? We're, we're always talking about tech on the show and everything. I'm challenging. Can we go somewhere? Is this Baywatch? Hold on. Hold on. Can we go to a physical store and get a pager? I don't even know where you would get one anymore. Can you go somewhere and get a pager? I think you can. Like, we're not going to actually go get the damn thing. We I don't, don't need want a pager. It. We don't need it. What but are can pagers? can we go to a store... We should film that. Just go to like a T-Mobile or an ATT. No, I actually just want a pager. <laughs> I'm just watching some folks walking up. Can you still okay. get a pager somewhere? Yeah. Really? Can yeah. You? I, I want to know a pager. too. I saw really? you can get them online. This is something we have to know. No, I saw you can get them online. But I want. Can I go to a store and set up a plan to get a pager? A pay. You know what? I bet you twenty. I will give you. I'll bet you twenty bucks. You can. You bet me twenty bucks. I can find somewhere in this store, in this in this town, a physical store where I can get a pager. Yeah, you can get a pager. Awesome. The, is that our super cool nerd show challenge for this week? I don't week? know. I was just wondering. I was like, can you go somewhere and get? It? But then I saw some guy in Walmart with and, a pager, and he had a pager on his belt. I was, and it was, it was. That's what brought all this up. I'm like, that dude has a pager because it pager. went off. It went off while I was sitting there. And, beep, beep, yeah, beep, exactly beep, beep, the beep, classic beep. pager sound. I was like, get the f- out of here. <laughs> yeah, man. And then, but then he pulled out his cell phone and called whoever was paging him, which to me just makes no sense whatsoever. Hey, I'm, uh, I think the fans of the show have shown <laughs> up. Hey, it's those guys. Oh, there I they know are. Them. We got a couple of friends of the show coming they ain't, over. Look, they ain't watching the show. They, hey, they, Mama, they here. how you doing? What's going You're on? What's going on? Got people Did, coming oh, oh, here. Oh, oh, my God. He brought our art we for us. Fan he art brought fan our fan art. art. Or as we like to call it, fart. Give me All a, right. Give me a My life is complete. Are we on Cambot? My life is complete. Yeah, that, that's excellent. That's beautiful stuff. We have fan art. It's too bad he only brought one copy. Give me that. that Who's your friend? From, oh, that is oh, from now. our MPX show. Apparently, we got somebody else watching us on an iPhone. What? I'm serious. Right oh behind you here. God, no, no. Show man. your friend. Who's your friend? Hi. Who are you? What's your name? Hold on. You got to get it on this. Camera. She's watching from Thailand. You gotta get Thailand. Or, or is that Norway? It's hard to say. She's in Norway. Oh, okay. Can she get me some Lutefisk? Maybe Hello, some, uh, Lek. How are you doing? MC, can you change the camera over so you can see this awesome All right, hold piece on. of fan I am, art? You, you're good. There you are. I just like how Chris is in the mask. Move it up a I'm little bit. Up. Okay, I'm on the delay. So. Okay. Hey, look, I like. I am a super. Hey, I look, I am a mass Mexican wrestler. And that wrestler. is exactly how I look without my shirt off. I just want to go ahead and note that right now. Yeah, so. th- you, you're working the six-pack. You know, awesome. I have a one-pack. <laughs> hey, why don't we get the guy to come over? Come on, grab a seat. Hey, come grab yeah, We're going to put Jefferson and see what those. Come on in. Jefferson, come on over here. Come on over here. Come over here, baby, and sit on my lap, and I'll tell you what's going on. Some fans of the show coming come down. Come sit down. It's you awesome. want to sit down, Linda? Or did Jefferson? Jeffy? Sit down. Put on the headphones sit so down. you can hear us. This is our friend Jefferson. He's he's one of our uh, he's our he's our official chronicler of the show. Fans coming by to say hi. He draws pictures for us. And there he is. How are you, sir? Welcome to the show. Pretty good. I'm, I'm, I know normally I would be making... Uh, Smart ass comments in the fan in the chat room yeah. right now. Yeah, nobody else is awake right now. So, <laughs> so go ahead and make some. Big, big. Yeah, you got time. You got to make up for lost keep it, time. Keep it a little okay, up. Well, I do, I do have a, a, a complaint that's been bothering me all morning. Uh oh. Tell us. I posted this on Facebook. What? Uh, Who did what? You, you know, I like Legos. You love Legos, you know, I like yes. Marvel Legos. 
there I'm are, with you, brother. There are many figs. Yeah. For a lot of a lot of the Avengers, obviously, because the movie. Right. Uh, right. Spider Man, because he's Spider Man. Mm-hmm. There's an Iron Fist minifig. I have it. Iron Fist. Now here's what I want to know. They can make an Iron Fist for his legion of Iron Fist fans. Yes. Yes. Why can't I have a Black Panther minifig? That's a good question. That's a good, you know, that's a damn good that's question. That's a damn good question, brother. I want a, I want a Black Panther. When are we getting a Black Panther figure? <laughs> now, <laughs> no, do you, you want? Know? Now, let me, let me, I'm let me ask saying. you this way: Do we want modern Black, or Marvel, do we want seven, or do we want seventies? Uh, we need seventies. With like the grayish costume no, and we, like the lines on him. We need a '70s Luke Cage. That's what I was saying. '70s we Luke need, Cage. We need a no. modern Black Panther because uh, sweet, sweet Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> Good lord! I can't believe we just did that in unison. <laughs> Mark that. We're gonna uh, use that as a wave. We're marking that. Oh, oh excellent! All sweet right. Christmas. Actually, I think they retconned. They actually retconned Sweet Christmas later in a way that made sense. Is because Granny Cage. Yes, yes. Let no cursing. They gave mouth. it meaning somehow. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it, she didn't let him curse. So, uh, well, you know, if she caught him cursing, she, they she'd pop weakly him. gave that a backstory. But you know what? Look at it this way: it's a, it's not a bad one. It's okay. But you know, to the Iron Fist, um, the minifig of Iron Fist, uh, he doesn't have the capri, capri pants. So yeah. Oh. Get over there. Fan accident. Fan mm-hmm. accident. We just witnessed a fan accident. That's not here. my fault. That's not my fault. I was that sitting was here. We were over the, over here. That was over I there. love this kid dressed as Batman. Oh. Dark Knight, sir, please. But anyway, so. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, we're going to get this. We're going to get the Dark Knight on here. So, what are you here to get, Jefferson? I was here to look around and to, you know, drop off the fan art that was occupying space on my, my drawing table. Is this ours? That's, that's, that's ours. Now, if one of you wants to take it home, you're going to have to throw down for it. Oh, fight between the wow! The I like hosts. I like you made my I like you made I, my abs look awesome. Thank you. I like my <laughs> odds in this. <laughs> he looks, dude. You look very um. You look very uh, uh, black and ease. I'm not saying that. I was saying I'm gonna say it. <laughs> you look very early Tyson in that. Hi, everybody. I, I, How you doing? I have been told I look like an early Muhammad Ali. So okay, I don't, I don't, Cassius. I don't see it. I don't see it either. More than you look like Mike Tyson. Oh, uh, pretty much. All right, Cassius. Oh, somebody just added a photo of me, and it was Linda. <laughs> Linda's <laughs> sending dirty photos she of us. She adds a photo of me right here. That's awesome. Are they, are they mouth like this? It's like added. instantaneous. It's, it's great. Oh, man. man. I'm so glad you guys came down here. Thank you. There is, There it is, a picture of us. Look at that. See that there? No, 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 no. Yeah. We love it. I'm bringing up on the iPad. I don't care about that. Well, like last night, by the way, for, I, I for like all those. I like broadcasting from here, by the way. I just want to go ahead and I think we should just set up shop here permanently. I just like how we have a camera. Uh, in a tree. In a tree. <laughs> in a faux tree. Which makes me wonder where we're going to put that camera next time. Once we get our new, we get the new studio. Do we need camera. to start bringing a tree with us to every broadcast? A little, no, no, little, little fake ficus. We can I just can, stick it on there. I can get another tripod and we can just put it up there. Our bendy or a, or a real one? Please, let's get a long stick and duct tape it to it or something like we've been doing. So. Oh, jeez. So we're going to really DIY it now. So we're um, – well, since Jefferson's here, Jefferson, yes. what's your favorite indie comic? Go. Indie comic? Indie comic. What's your favorite? Uh, how strongly do you define indie? Uh, image and lower. Image and lower, exactly. Hmm. Since that's where we, we so set the where, rules where, where do we put Dark Horse on that? Dark Horse was definitely in the indies. And in, in, uh, Hellboy. Ah, okay, Hellboy's great. My man. I agree with you. We love we love Hellboy. You missed it, but I just went on my Hellboy tirade just a we minute were just ago. Talking about, um, Amer- we were just talking about American Splendor. I uh, mean, that's, that's hard. See? That's- he doesn't know what you're talking about. You know American Splendor, right? I do not know American Splendor. See? I thought, okay. I'm sorry. You see, don't know who Chris, Harvey P. Chris, Carr is? I mean, you go, when we talk. Here we go. Indie. <laughs> I've noticed that you go way indie. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, like, goes, he goes deep. I'm like <laughs> hipster indie. indie. So to speak. <laughs> there you go. So to speak. Coming soon, my new comic book, Hipster Man. Hipster. <laughs> oh, God. No. Save us all. I think I would buy save issue one. Save us all. I issue would one. buy issue yeah, one. Yeah. I was saving people before you, before it was cool. Yeah. <laughs> Capes are so dated. Yeah. <laughs> Mask, maybe. Why don't we just... <laughs> I think, has, I think he has every LP Joy Division ever released. I prefer, <laughs> I prefer a sensible cardigan. <laughs> I think The Incredibles gave you good advice. Don't wear a cape. Cape, yeah. Yeah, don't do the cape. I, I wasn't we learned that from Watchmen, dude. I wasn't planning on that for my, uh, for my vigilante career, which will be start. What? Well, you know, the, the hero Bra Man, who we all know. Yeah, um, I saw him recently running down the street, foaming at the he, mouth like he, a wild dog. He is quite elusive. He is. So did... Uh, 
Did they get the idea for the bras in Weird Science from Bra Man? That's a good question. I, you know, I, I, I tried to ask him as I snapped that picture of him while he was uh, mistakenly in my house the other day. He, like, rescued John Hughes? Well, uh, he, he, from, thought, like, he thought it was a crack house. Uh, he was mistaken. He thanked me, and I asked him for a shot. That's why it was all blurry, because he was trying to get out of there real quick. Yeah. He is yeah. quite mysterious and uh, fast. Elusive. He's aloof. Very much so. Um, we'll have to get him on the show sometime. Sometime, possibly. Yes. Bor- yes. I'll, I'll, uh, I, I'll, I'll shine the signal through the air. You don't. You don't. You really don't want to know what his signal is. <laughs> is it the double D? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. It is just surprising. Does it lift I'm and still separate? alive. What? Does his signal lift and separate? Separate. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh God. <laughs> he just went there. Yes, we did. Oh. oh. That's why. I, that's why you're getting a, a uh, should we give him a, a contributor status? I would say so for the art. You get a contributor status. Awesome. Let me get, let me get Jefferson like a t-shirt or something. When we get him. When we get him. When we yeah. get him. When we move and get him. Because we have artwork now. Well, I have artwork now, which, you know, <laughs> sucks to be Chris Danger. He, if yes. we got to throw down in the parking lot for that, well, man. I will punch you in the eye. I've, like already got it. I've already got a piece, so I'm okay. I like my odds in this, so just say it. I want to. I'll just say it. So what are we watching here on ESPN? College football? Don't watch ESPN. We're moving They're on to news. They're treating a dog. News. Oh, that's right. News it, team. Well, actually, Assemble. before y'all do that, I'm going to go nerd around the uh, con. It's yeah, we'll stop holding them up. Thank so you. Go, go look at some. Go look, look at some books and find some cool stuff and maybe not so so cool stuff. I got Shatterstar. Oh, with the dual action arms? With the with the swords that make no sense. Yeah, they have the wrong, they have <laughs> does, the wrong does perspective. Does anything about Shatterstar make sense? No. Nothing about Rob Liefeld. Not a sense. damn thing about anything Rob Liefeld has created. <laughs> Oh, uh, anyway, Jefferson, thanks for stopping thank by. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. Linda, thank you, too. Next time, you know, don't be such a mic hog, Jefferson. Yeah. Well, okay. I will Let talk Linda to you two kids here. later. Give us some feedback and everything. Okay, that was Jefferson and Linda. That's Round of applause. That's our homie. Woo! Wait, we don't have our canned applause anymore. We have to fix yeah, that. Yeah, we got to get some Slacker. canned applause. Okay. All right, let me bring up news. Uh, news team assemble. I can't do it as loud as I can. I can't either. Voice. So, which story do you want to do first? Well, as much as I hate them, let's start with relaunch news. Relaunch news. You know. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, yeah. this is from our friends at CNET, if I can get the story to load. Okay. Loading, loading, it, it, loading. Uh, and I love this. New MySpace to be segregated from old MySpace. Oh, I thought we were going to talk about the Marvel. Um, go ahead. You start with that one. I'll do... Uh, we'll be back to Marvel in a minute. I'll get to the Marvel story. Go okay. Ahead. In an interview with ABC, the CEO of the soon-to-be-revamped social network site says, among other things, that new users will be kept separate from the classic MySpace. Um, basically... The classic uh, MySpace. It's like separate. classic Coke. Yeah. Sorry. It's I like think Coke MySpace with extra. The original was Coke with extra sugar. Uh, there will be a separate <laughs> section for our consumer base using classic MySpace. Vanderhook or uh, Tim Vanderhook uh, told ABC that we're going to keep it, uh, leave it, and uh, leave it for quite a while. We made a decision; at, we will make a decision at a later date if they will take down the old property. Here's the thing: currently, the new MySpace they've got a uh, they've got a beta period going on. They've got about 700 people in there, and plus they've also extended out to various, and I think they said um, loyalists, uh, artists, managers, DJs, tastemakers. What's a tastemaker? What the hell is a tastemaker? That's a good question. We need to ask, what is a tastemaker? Seriously. Is that our, our challenge number two? What is a tastemaker? Somebody How do I get needs this to come job? back and tell us what a tastemaker is. What the hell is a tastemaker? That's a good question. Should anyway, we ask our friends at Yelp? moving on. Ugh. Tastemaker. What that is just a, sounds creepy. A tastemaker. But here's the thing. Okay, MySpace. I left MySpace several years ago because, well. Because it sucked? Because it just. Because Facebook was better. Because they That's gave. That's why. They gave. Oh. Hey, come on. Hey, Get over here. Apparently Slash is coming over. Okay. We have a representative of the North Texas Comic Book Show to come here and tell us a little bit about the North Texas Comic Book Show. Actually, we're going to put you right here. Where are you going? Where are you You're going? actually coming right over here. Over here. I'm just going to I'm just going to bully him now. Now, here's the deal. This guy, this guy is actually what? You're This put, is a representative of the North Texas Comic Book Show. Ears. What's your name, my man? Uh, Speak right in the mic. My name is Trevor. Trevor, up, how Trevor? old are you, buddy? Uh, I'm 12. 12. Thank you, official representative of the North, North Texas, Texas Comic, Comic Book Show. Show. Uh Trevor, if you wouldn't mind, tell us uh, a little bit about the North Texas Comic Book Show. Just yes, get him up to the mic. Speak into the mic there. There we go. Um, well, it's a grassroots show, and we started out by Six Flags at the Hilton, mm-hmm. and now we're on our fifth show down here, yeah. and we're starting a side show in Dallas. Oh. That is the news that tell I was the waiting news. for somebody to tell. Tell us, tell about us all side. about that. Yes. About what? About where it's going to be. 
um, it's gonna be either at the Double Tree or the place right across the street from the Double Tree down in the house. Okay, well, you it, heard it here. You heard it here first from. Tr yes. Yes. You heard it from this young lad first. So we'll just put big announcement from Nortex Comic Show at uh, whatever time. Yes. This is. I can't see it. MC can see that stuff. Uh, eleven twenty-four on a Saturday morning. All right. Okay. <laughs> no, not eleven twenty. Like the runtime. Oh, okay. Well, let anyway. me. So let me. Uh, why we got you here at the at the desk? Let me ask you real quick. We asked this of all our guests. Favorite comics? Oh lord. Mainstream and indie. Uh, Deadpool. 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 All okay, right. I like you. Good man. You ready for uh, Brian uh, Poston's new run on that? Yeah. Nice. I like this kid. He's got good taste. How'd you to be a correspondent? And thank you for <laughs> dropping the big news for the North Texas Comic Book Show. Thank we can't you. wait till you guys are, you know, well, closer. And we'll be back for that, too. Oh, we definitely will. We like broadcasting from here. Cool. Excellent. So, um, so uh, just enjoying the Saturday here. You, you met anybody cool yet? Um, not really. Not really? Ah. No. Not us? We're not. Cool. We're not cool enough We're for you, my cool, man? Hey, it's in the title. It's in the title, pal. Look behind <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but, no, I was waiting for somebody to come over and tell us, uh, thanks for doing that, man. No problem. Cool. Should we let him go? I'm going to let him off. All right. So you we, can get, off so we can go finish the news. All right, news. All right. So, All yeah. Right. Uh, Thank you, Trevor. So, anyways, getting uh, back to MySpace. MySpace, really? Anybody? MySpace? If anybody is, If anybody's actually going back to MySpace, leave a comment um, if you're willing to do it. I'm not. If you're willing to be ridiculed, there's just too many to out there now. It's, I can't keep up with everything. I'm at that age now that I just choose one thing and I stick with it. Facebook. Which, by the way... Are you no, getting you, set in your ways? Well, you combine that with your Twitter, so... Which, by the way, Facebook just got its one billionth user this week. So that's a billion people not getting anything done at work. No, nope, not really. <laughs> that's the only time I get things done. It's like when Twitter goes down. <laughs> I'm following too many people is what it is. I want to see what they're doing. What they're up to. Yeah, it has, it has one billion active users. One billion users. Now, is that like... It, that's they don't split Facebook into anything like uh, they don't have like junior Facebook they don't have <laughs> how many of those billions are my, my little pony Facebook they don't have that no, I'm in like country and stuff like that <laughs> <laughs> where's Iran's Facebook that's what I want to know <laughs> actually they may be getting it back soon as soon as they get their well, leadership the out. Chinese have it it's called CenoWeb well it's time for me to bash something now okay now let's uh, remember we got we got kids and Gentler, your Whatever. folks around us. Okay, so this comes from, uh, well, you pulled this one from CBS News. But, uh, yes, where we uh, said at one time that there was an iPad mini. It's kind of like a medium-sized iPhone or a small size. Or it's a large size iPhone or a small size iPad. This thing, why, Chris? Why? As an iPad user, okay. as a person that has I may, this, I, I like the, I like the new. I like the new iPad. In fact, this is one I've been using for the past few months. Uh, it's the uh, Retinal, with the one with the Retina display on it. I love it. It works for me. I can do work on it. I can, I can, I can read it. I think what iPad, or I think what Apple's trying to do in the post uh, Steve Jobs era, the Tim Cook era, uh, because Steve Apple, Jobs was against this. Steve Jobs was completely against a seven-inch device. He said, "Dead on arrival." Here's what he's trying to do. I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to go head-to-head -head more or less with the um, the Samsung devices, you know, the Galaxy Three. The, which, oh, wait a second, didn't Apple go to court for that to to get those blocked? I mean, I, I don't get it. I, I, this is my thing with Apple, and I love. I have a love hate relationship with Apple. I have three device. I have three Apple machines. Well, actually, I'm I have sorry. three. I have two Apple computers. I have three. I have two iPods. Okay. And I have this. But my thing is, is that okay? Going and doing a seven-inch device is stupid. Are, are we trying to compete with with Kindle? I mean. This is a dumb idea. It's 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 gonna. I'll tell you what's gonna happen. This is gonna be the next Newton. Who wants to buy it? Please. It will be the next Apple. It will be the next Apple Cube. It will be the next Newton. That's Sound all off it's be. in the comment section if you want this thing. If you're gonna buy it, I know there's gonna be people. I'm not talking about the people that are gonna buy it regardless. You know that 47 percent who are just gonna buy it anyway. I'm just sorry. I don't want to say that. Just I'm, I'm just gonna punch you. What? I just <laughs> wanted to throw that. 40, out there. Okay, mittens. That's oh, your new uh, name, Mittens. Do we have time for the Yelp, folks? Or? Yelp. Yelp. Yelp is over here. Do you want right to come and Yelp with us? You want to come over here and Yelp with us? Come on uh, over. I like... Oh, it, can, Wow. Okay. Who is this? So we got the pull list. Because they're sitting over here and, you know, want them to come over and sit with us. We're just bringing people onto the show. Wow. Just, it's kind of cold up in this atrium. Now. It, it is a little cold. bit. It's starting to get a little chilly. A little chilly, a little chilly. Go ahead and put the Over uh, to the left the of us was a uh, Yelp table. And, and there are people sitting over there. They've got stuff. 
And they got wristbands what did, and what is your name? Like that. My name's Kendall. Kendall. Yes. And she is a representative of Yelp. Yelp. Yes, I work for Yelp.com. Very nice. Representing Fort Worth. Welcome to the show. Represent. Metroplex, yes. Yeah. I think we could move on to a story since we have someone here. Okay. Um, are you familiar with the character of James Bond? I am. Yeah, Shimon Penne. Who's your favorite James Bond character? Who? I mean, who's your favorite, favorite actor Bond. to play James Bond? Okay, well... Is this going to offend anybody if I, no. say, if I say Daniel this Craig? This is an opinion. No. I will not Craig. say anything. I really like Daniel Craig. You're me? wrong. <laughs> no, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I have to agree with you. He's the best. He's the best Bond. But mainly I'm it's sorry. because my favorite Bond girl so far has been Ava Green. <sighs> Casino Royale, yes. Because I love Ava Green. I will not argue with Who that. Who doesn't? I don't know who doesn't. <laughs> She's well, beautiful. She's a good looking girl. Oh, yeah. yeah. And the reason I, I say that, though, is because this is the 50th, 50th. year anniversary of Ooh. James Bond. Bond. I did not know that. Yes. yes. Yesterday, October 5th, 1962, Dr. Bond. No James premiered Bond. in British theaters. Wow. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Arthur, uh, why can't I think of who wrote James Bond now? Ian Fleming, dude. There. Damn it. <laughs> he, he had a mental block I knew for that. a moment. I knew that. Okay. We it just happened. bring him along for giggles. <laughs> so, that's what I wanted to bring here. So, over here. why now let me let me kind of go back here for a moment. Why okay. why is Yelp here today? Why are you guys here? We are sponsoring the North Texas Comic Book Show. <gasps> awesome. Oh. Yes. Very they nice. got sponsorship we, um, big time. Yeah. We actually have a weekly newsletter that comes out every Wednesday, and the one that came out last Wednesday had a plug in for this show. Nice. Um, and it goes out to a lot of readers, so and if anybody's interested in signing up for the Yelp weekly newsletter, just get on Yelp.com. And sign up. Nice. You heard her. Yes. And it's it's one of the most used apps on my iPad. Yelp, um, is, Yelp is great. Yes, I find everything really I can. Is. Don't encourage him. He's just <laughs> plugging his i. I got an iPad. I got an iPad. Look it is me. cool, I got baby. An iPad. And you I don't really, you don't really care about Yelp. I'm also, I'm also a Yelp elite for 2012. Uh, I'm a Yelp elite. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to make out to a lot of events. Is but this, is I've been in a lot of reviews on Yelp. So That's great. Our last event was so much fun. Uh, and everyone dressed up, too. I heard. It's a costume theme party. Oh. We missed it. What breaks happened? Breaks my heart, man. I know. I'm sorry. I know. People when dressed up like Tetris. Really? Tetris pieces? Yeah. Oh, that's yes. cool. Yeah. <laughs> they won our costume contest. You know, I'm, I could venture that question somewhere, but I'm not. I'm going to be I'm gonna be polite. <laughs> oh, okay. That's good. I don't know where this is going. So. Yes. It we're kidding. off we're the train tracks so yeah, with I this was, guy right here. I was scared a little bit as well. Okay, yeah. but that's really cool. <laughs> so you're out here representing Yelp. We yeah. love. Um, any anything coming up? You guys want to promote? Um, no. Well, we don't have any big events coming up yet. But if you sign up for the weekly Yelp, then you can always keep informed, and we right. let you know. We we do have a lot of like on Wednesday, um, on the tenth, we're having people come out to um, a bar called Brood. It's opening on Magnolia Street in Fort Worth. Nice. Ooh. They brew their own beer and their own coffee. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Two things I enjoy. Beer and coffee. Yeah. At the same time. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. This guy. At the same I'll time. I'll be drunk and wired. <laughs> a do- double-fisted drinking. It's Let's do this. Combination. That's where the next uh, broadcast uh, is coming from. Is brood. <laughs> We're going there. Yeah, brood. Just After set up right today. outside. I'll just steal all they're the equipment. They're not open yet. No, they're not open today. No. no Hemsley will be yet. sitting at home like, why is this, Why are we broadcasting all of a sudden? I'm here. Well, actually, I'd be like drunk and hyper, Jeez. so I don't even know what that would be like. So. Well, the Untitled SCNS does have its own drinking game, so... That's right. We have our own drinking game now. I'm not drinking this morning, so... Yes. Normally, I drink during the broadcast, but not this time. It? Is it 11? Oh. Do you want to explain, explain the game to this young lady? We have a game with this? Oh, yeah, yeah we do. Yeah, yeah. It's every time you take a drink, uh, everybody else does. Oh, every time uh, I take a drink, every time oh. I like... Is it swearing or something? It? or I have to be clean. I have to be... I have to keep it... Clean. Every time Chris goes off on a wild tangent, we drink. have to do it. Yeah, we half a bottle. <laughs> but oh people do that anyway. <laughs> this sounds dangerous. <laughs> yes, this guy is. <laughs> that's that's why we only have an hour show on Thursday because we don't want people <laughs> yeah. to get alcohol uh, uh, poisoning. poisoning. But people yeah. have said they want us to go back to you an hour and a half format, so <laughs> we're doing that. We are doing that. Oh, I tell you. Well, thank you for coming on. Oh, yeah, appreciate awesome. it. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you. And uh, some plugging for Yelp, guys. Yelp. Yelp.com, Yelp.com, awesome site, great reviews, yeah. and. Uh, Maybe you can become an elite like me. Read some, yeah, or me. Or you. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. You're welcome. Now all right, time. guys. Thank you. All right. Okay, and now that we don't have guests on on the headphones, now get back to the let's news. talk the about real stories of the week. Well, we're on to uh, the pull list. Women, did we do? Uh, yeah, we got. Yeah. Did I pull your list? We're going to pull list now. And uh, yank on it. Uh, yank hard. 
Well, DC just did it, so what's good for DC, I guess, is good enough for Marvel because we are getting a relaunch with Marvel. Yes, Marvel Comics Now. This comes from our uh, peeps over there at Comic Book Resources. But um, this is this we announced this a while ago, but now we're actually starting to see some of them roll out. This uh, Is it this week and next week? They're going to be rolling out the now titles. Yeah, the new now titles, which are the uh, which what's the new the new Avengers team, which is what uh, the, the Uncanny the, Avengers. Yeah, yeah Uncanny Avengers. Um, I will be. Um, I'm getting back to my comics this week, but I will be actually. This the, is my return to comics this week. The only book I'm going to be pulling from that is probably Brian or Brian Poston's uh, new Deadpool book. I find it funny we're getting another all new X Men. Yeah, I mean we already had an all new X Men, and they're just redoing all new X Men. Well, at least Professor X is gone. But look for some posts on the on the Facebook page off of Wednesday for the stuff I read. I'll be posting what I thought was good this week. Um, I'll be doing a little. I might be doing a little bit of the new Deadpool book because, quite frankly, I think it's going to be the best book out of the whole bunch. It is. Uh, what we'll do is like maybe we can like post what we got this week and a uh, quick one sentence what we thought of them. Yeah, I will be like I said. But now I'm. I don't know Marvel. No. I mean, I, yeah. They, I mean, a friend of mine actually said something like. Um, these it? characters need to be rebooted again. I mean, they need to be rebooted Sorry, every now I and yawn. then. Like, did you take a picture of me yawning? Characters, yes. Yeah, put that up on the page. She's laughing. Or did I do something gross? I'm curious to see what they're going to try to do with <laughs> Captain America. Isn't the again. whole thing going to be like Captain really, America, really time traveler boy, or whatever he is? Something like that. Yeah. Really dark or something. This is going to be like a dark incarnation. Well, let's see. In let's see in that you got um that that you know you had some major characters killed off in Avengers versus X Men. I mean, you know, the well, you know, Scott Summers kills off Professor X. I mean, uh, you know, there's something surprising about that because even though they just came off of their big event, um, yeah, comic sales were actually down this uh, month. Well, they saw uh, quite a drop. I can tell you in why. sales. This, this, what was that? Well, you know, it is. It, 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 we're coming out of the summer season. Yeah, we're coming out of summer. Kids went back to school. Kids back went back to school. Um, okay, I'll give you that. But coming off of a big event, that's. Unusual for Marvel, but moving on. What do we get next? Uh, oh, you want this next one about? Uh, I got to bring it up here because my pad closed on me. Hulk and. Uh, oh yeah! Apparently they're doing a Hulk. Uh, Iron Man, animated movie. Yeah, I'm just it, running it, over. Nice. Here. Yeah, it's gonna be Hulk Iron Man movie, and I'm like, it, it's animated. It's one of those Marvel animated. Marvel jobs. makes decent animated movies, but mm -hmm. I find it weird that they're putting Hulk and Iron Man, considering we just had Avengers. Because it could kind of preclude. Well, it's to, uh, it's not it's not in the same canon though. Yes, it's like alternate alternate angle animated canon. This is going to be done by Lionsgate again. Yeah, it's a Lionsgate. Uh, is this Lionsgate? They they do great. They did great. I think animations. they are. All the others like Planet it. Hulk. I love so this forth. one. Okay, yeah. Great. So basically, it's going to be it's going to be. Uh, um, apparently, they're going to be. It's coming on April twenty third. Uh, it's a blend of CG and traditional animation. Uh, it's going to be Adrian Patsar doing his, you know, he's going to do his Japanese Tony Stark, you know, from, Iron, you know, Iron Man anime. Oh, Lord. And it's also going to be Fred Tastacor playing uh, Hulk. And apparently they're going to be finding Zax. Huh. Zazzle. Um, I know I wasn't added in here, but I would like to add, I did download the Dark Knight Returns. What did you think? It was great. My, was your favorite part, was your favorite part, Joseph Gordon Levitt? No, 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 no. I didn't say Dark Knight Rises. Oh, Dark Knight Returns, you're talking. Dark Knight Returns, uh, the animated movie. Oh, with uh, Peter uh, Weller. Recapping the famous, yes. It is good. It is great. I enjoyed it immensely. You know, I recommend it. I'll get it to you guys. You I'll tell you what it. I'm waiting. I'll tell you what I'm waiting for. Part two of that. If we're going to do a, if we're going to do a Mar another Marvel animated film. I think we need a Japanese Spider-Man an uh, animated film. Oh, just film. shut the hell up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Oh my but goodness! Uh, All you, right. Oh, you go on, oh. He has flashed into uh, anger. <laughs> Come on. We need. We need. You know. I don't know why. You that was to. when they did all these Marvel animes. You know, this all oh, this whole Marvel anime series they did recently. You know, did like Iron Man, Blade. You know, X Men, all that, or even Wolvie. They didn't even do a. They should have did a Japanese Spider Man. I thought it'd been kind of cool. I see this. Uh, this story that you did post here. This funny one. Uh, about Cyborg. Oh, God, um, yes. If you're following the new uh, Justice League series, uh, last issue, you may have noticed a slight palette change. Are you sure this was a... Are you on sure this Cyborg. Was a, are you sure this was a palette change or this was a, a promo comic? Actually, I'm seeing Cyborg standing right next to a guy who is clearly Caucasian and he has the same skin tone as him. 
And last I checked, Cyborg this was is a, a black man. Now this thing is a this is an. But they didn't just make this mistake on one. Now let me explain what this is. This is a um, this is a crossover comic uh, Sears worked with them on for Crafts and Bolt on Tools, and apparently whoever painted this comic. Oh, I thought this was oh okay. Yeah, apparently somebody painted Cyborg. Uh, you know, Lily. They Lily. didn't get the they didn't get the message that Cyborg is black. If you go to Comics Alliance and uh, it's there on a, yeah, the Craftsman Bolt on system says that this, I didn't know this was some crappy comic release by like you know a, this is like department. oh it's available for download and it's also gonna be at New York Comic Con next week. Oh man, I can't wait for the Comic Con goers to make fun of this. If you're going to New York Comic Con, please make fun of this. Which I was. Why is Cyborg white? Because they, well, you know. Oh, it doesn't place. It doesn't take place throughout the entire comic, but it does happen twice. Because it's, it's a couple pages. It's a couple pages. They got the whoever was doing the coloring. Did the proper coloring. Working on this. It's funny as hell, though. He is clearly. You know, if you look at the picture of this one part of this, it looks like Superman is slightly dejected. He's like, "You're just not paying attention to me." <laughs> did you see this picture? <laughs> no one cares what I think. Nobody Shut cares up, what. Black. Nobody cares what Cal thinks. <laughs> well, I Shut up, last man of Krypton. I skipped over movie news, and I put oh something. I skipped over movie I'm news sorry. for the uh, 50th Bond thing. I'm just kind of getting to this because uh, we're getting close pull, to time. Pull it, pull it together, man. I'm pulling it together. Where is that story I put up about the ridiculous movies coming up here? Ah, here it is. I found it. Ah, Atlas crap. Shrugged 2, Electric Boogaloo. I want my old laptop back. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, this comes from Superhero Hype. But as you know, they're pulling everything to put it on film these days. Whether it be comic... Um, Comic related or board game related, as we saw with the Battleship movie, which is now out on Blu-ray. Which, if you are a Navy person and you saw that movie, you please, you cringed. Just, just we know you cringed. We it's know. like chalk on a chalkboard for you. It truly nails is. on a chalkboard. Like anybody who's actual Navy was just like bullcrap. Anyway, but three more we Hasbro properties are headed to the big screen, and here are what they are. Number one, Action Man, which I could see. Action, Action Man, Man could be done. It, it would be a cool title. But now, but here we go. Um, hungry, hungry hippos. What? Wasn't that what? done on adult? Wasn't that done oh on a robot God. chicken? Robot chicken had <laughs> a hungry, famous. Hungry, hungry hippos. Yes. Hung, uh, hungry, oh, hungry hippos. No. I almost want to see whatever train wreck this is going to be. I want to see it just blow up in their face. Last but not least, I want them to spend one billion dollars making Come it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the pl what would the plot be? Would it be there? There, there's this. It, it's like the. the I almost want to write this just to try to. How ridiculous can we go with this? But anyway, um, yeah. and then Monopoly. Really? Yeah. Yes. You know. You know if uh, I ain't making this crap, I can't make this up. I can't possibly make this up. What is the car gonna have like a flat? And everybody's I gonna don't be know. sad. <laughs> the little no, guy on the horse will be like right. Mittens wrong. How are we going to make? Oh shoot! Sorry. Hit my laptop. Anyway, sorry. I, Mittens Romney will be playing. Um, will be playing Mr. Moneybags. How the film. hell are we gonna? If he doesn't get elected, which he probably. How won't. are these movies going to be made? What I can't even think of a plot line. That was like the concept for the Ouija movie they were pushing a while At back. At least Battleship had like battleships. What are we gonna do? Like just. Oh. Uh, well, the question is, in the somebody Hunger, Hunger paid Hippos money film? for this. I don't even know what to think anymore. I, I think I'm just gonna go home and cry. Hold myself in a fetal position about this whole Monopoly movie. My question is: Is with with hungry, hungry hippos? Are they going to be eating like? Are they going to be eating like? Are they going after their their job is like the world is getting pelted with like giant marvels and it's their job to eat them? I can't even fathom. And there's like a handle in their bag. What can you do with a plot line for that? I don't know, man. I somebody paid money. As long for as this. you put Rihanna in it, people will watch it. They paid money. <laughs> it's like Actually, killer killer tomatoes. But killer tomatoes was funny. I know. Okay, Chris, how are you? They gonna have to. The, the bar is set at Killer Tomatoes for that movie. Okay, for joysticking, Plan you put nine. up like a couple of stories. You put up like three stories. Well, you put I put up a ton up, of stories. But you didn't like uh, link them. I thought on I her did. Page. No, you did not. Well, you I got did a couple. Not. You didn't do the. Uh, okay, we're going to move on to joysticking. Okay, I'll give you a quick one, Mr. Pandora. Just a, no, a no, no. We're moving on to joysticking. Yeah, That's we're we're down to the last 15 minutes anyway. Huh? That isn't joysticking. Hold on. Mr. Pandora isn't there? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm not playing it, but I do know someone that is. Yeah, we were saying uh, Mr. Pandera is blowing up just I have to gangbusters. See we know some people that are playing it, and 
my honestly, have I don't want to play it. already. Well, we haven't seen him for like two weeks. I was have you seen him? Yesterday, slightly for 15 minutes when the cable went out. Uh, <laughs> I barely, I barely seen it. But no, he, <laughs> we love you, Steve. Does he come out for food? Yes, he does come out for food, but he is quickly back in there. He's like, <laughs> he's like, he's like an elf. He runs he's like he rushing to get that. He that come out, purple eats, gear. Like, ma eats like major pain, and then goes back. He's gone. And, and then he's gonna you wait another year. Funny? Oh man! But he, what he, about you, Pokey Pig? So, what is the next WoW expansion? Mr. Pandaria. Mr. Just, Pan no, just no. Can't. After that, I one. don't know. You know they're gonna have another one. Of course they will. Money, money. Ex I like how they, they slow down on the levels. Bowels like it explosion. used to be like uh, ten levels, and then they went down to five because uh. they wanted to stretch it out. Well, I look at it like this: um, they're they're still making that. Uh, WoW is still a money making operation for, which leads us to another money making operation here. Which one? Uh, the the newest birds. Oh yeah. So we've got Angry Birds. We got Angry Birds Seasons. We got Angry Birds Space. Angry Piggies. Are now? you ready? Yes, we got Bad Piggies now. Bad Piggies. But okay. are you ready for Angry Birds Star Wars? Yes. What? Yes. Now here's the deal. Yes. Uh, it's a teaser image. Go ahead, Chris. Now that it's going to be, um, it is going to be. It is going to be a partnership. Of course, Rovio is doing a, a partnership with uh, Lucasfilm, apparently. They're going to announce probably 8 a.m. October 8th. <coughs> and apparently it's going to be announced at the Toys R Us location at Times Square. So I am ready to see what happens with this. Now, yes, it sounds like it's going to be a LucasArts cash-in. No, there's another World of Warcraft Mr. Pandora ad. I just saw it on TV. Nice. Um, that's not it. Um, but, yeah, uh did we just have a cosplayer just run past us? Who, what, huh? Where? Behind he's us? He's behind us. Did he just photo bomb us? Uh, maybe. maybe. Well, what, anyways, no. That's uh, what the banner's for. Yeah. <laughs> but in all seriousness, um, no, I, I'm, a f I, I, I'm not shocked it hasn't happened yet. I'm shocked. I, I, I'm just shocked that, you know, uh, it they took They got to get around to it at some point. Well, yeah, they did the Green Day win this summer. Yes. Yes, they did. Billy Joe, Billy Joe Bird. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he was so angry. As so are you going to be able to like going through the throw air. the Emperor from Star Wars? Who knows, man. That'd be kind of cool. I'm actually curious as to what this train wreck is going to be. Oh, man. So wow. Now, here, here's one I want to read real quick. Go ahead. I know you've been just – is this the one you're all sad over? Well, okay. We were Go talking ahead. sports games. Occasionally, oh. I like to play sports games. But, um, of course, it's from our friends at GameSpot. Uh, apparently, NBA Live 13, there's been a big – uh, debacle about it. Apparently, it was canceled six days before the yeah, planned release. This does not happen. EA Sports waited until and this is from GameStop or GameSpot.com. EA Sports waited until the last minute to cancel or cancel NBA Live 13 last week, according to a tweet from uh, Major or from Major Nelson. He said the live was supposed to launch on Live Arcade. Many EA Sports official cancellation of project just came six days before it started to launch. What happened is they canceled it. Uh, they canceled it. Uh, they planned to ship NBA Elite 11 in October two thousand or last year. Uh, they delayed that, and they canned the game in 2010. Here's the deal. This has been going on about three seasons now that EA has pulled something with the NBA franchise. Meanwhile, 2K Sports has been releasing their NBA games, and they are their games are awesome. Have you have you played any of them? I I've played a couple. I played the new NBA. I've, I've actually had a chance to. Yeah, you know, I played last year's, and this year's probably will be a. a even better. Do you think it's time EA just gives up their license for the NBA and just you know says forget it and let's do something else? Maybe focus on something like maybe actually making games no. that you want to play. No, because people they? will buy those games. Yeah, exactly. Well, They're it's like going, Madden. Yeah, Madden is happening. It doesn't matter if they make a crappy Madden game. Somebody's going to buy it and they'll say it was crap, but then they'll get the next one next year. Oh, absolutely. Exactly. I, I guess that is one good thing about these games like that come out every year. At least if they screw it up, you don't have a lot of time to wait between. But Really, is a year turnaround enough for these games? No. It, Honestly, it really no. isn't. Three no. years development these days, right? Well, yeah, and it's, of course, it's like, for example, that's why, and I'll, 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 I'll throw a game that's coming out. Oh, by the way, uh, oh, let me give you a quick, let's give a quick, let me give you a quick um, over-under here. All right, uh, by the way, XCOM coming out Tuesday. Uh, so far, in some of the ratings and reviews I've seen, it's been posting like 9 out of 10, 9.5 out of right? 10. Possibly, but I want to ask you a question. Another game that we actually saw back here a couple months ago is coming out the same day. Yes, that it is, is Dishonored. Yes, it is. Let's do an over under. Over under. Well, we'll say nine. We'll pick the 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 rating. Over under score that XCOM received. Do you think Dishonored will get over that? 
the same or will Dishonored, get less? Dishonor will get over that. You think they'll get over that? Yes. Okay. How about you, MC? I'm going to say about the same. About the same? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to be the – I'm going to take the under, and I'm going to explain why. Dishonored looks like a really cool game, but from everything I've been reading, and this is just from articles I have read here recently – I played the game, by the way, and it, it's a great yes, game. We both played. If you play, day, if you if you like Deus Ex and you know the Deus Ex games, it's gonna work for you. But if you're just like a regular gamer, I mean, the, some folks may have a little bit of a challenge with it. You know, getting into the game, playing it, things like that. You know, cause since it's so open wide, and um, some critics may mark it down for that. Well, you, you know, like a lot of games, like the first one is where they they just kind of work out. The bugs. The bugs. And right. then you get into like the second one and the third one, like with Gears of War or something, and it gets really, really Assassin's good. Creed could say the same thing. AC, which, by the way, AC3, we were talking about development times here a moment ago. AC3 has been in development since uh, Assassin's Creed 2 released, what was it? I believe it. About two, three years ago. I can't wait. I can't wait. AC3 uh, comes out uh, October 30th, so that's your Hall that's your Halloween treat, man. I've already pre-ordered it. I've got mine pre-ordered. Now, did you get the regular version, or did you get some sort I of special version? I got the special version. Did you get the one with the belt buckle? With the sword and everything, yeah. You need, a, you need another belt buckle, right? I have belt buckles. Okay, just check. <laughs> but uh, I did actually finally get – I'm getting caught up on my games now. I got to uh, follow Cybertron finally. MC's pissed off. I didn't get Borderlands 2, oh, but I'll get boy. that next week. Yes, but Fall of Cybertron is awesome. I'm letting I'm getting the air out of your tires, damn it. Oh, come on. Be nice to the guy. Anyway. But Fall of Cybertron. Are, I need to talk about a game that is coming out. I'm taking this. I'm taking this story. War Z, man. War Z, baby. Ooh. War Z is launching. I can, I'm excited. I cannot wait to build trust with other people. And then kill them. And then kill them and take their stuff. <laughs> you wouldn't do that to me. You Dude, know what we need to I, do? I, I, I will admit. The guy in War Z who's always so nice to you and then shoots you in the face once you're close enough and takes your stuff, that is me. I'm sorry, but in a zombie apocalypse... You're talking Daisy, right? I'm sorry. Uh, Daisy. Sorry. Yeah, War Z is... Is yeah. coming. Right. Yeah. Um, I am that guy because I will survive during the zombie apocalypse, and I want your ammo and your food. So I cannot wait to do this, or, or I just hide from people. So you've heard it here. If you see Jason the X on that game, definitely do not befriend him. Yeah. I, do, I use. I'm going to use a different name because I, I suppose now if people see Jason the X, they're just going to go, "Oh, that guy's a jerk." I'm He's the guy that just put a bullet gonna, in a, a bullet in a, in an old guy in the game. Some mm. some grandma, so he could get the can of. I don't kid, care. Can I can must get can you a can of, of dog or something. Food. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you kill the grandma for a can of dog, dog food. Dog I have to survive. Or some band aids. I need to survive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to think anymore. If they have a gun, then I know I want their ammo. Hopefully, they got some Here, ammo. Here's the deal. That game is going to, uh, by the way, one thing they're going to be doing with that is that you can actually rent server space and you can set up your own your own server in the game, which is kind of cool. Like you set your own server site up, whereas like if you want to build your own little town in there. M mini mini uh, kingdom or something. Your fiefdom. You yeah, know, one exactly. Of the, one of the worst stories from that game, I was playing with somebody and uh, I was actually trying to be nice to them. Um, but then they started saying, hey, do you have any ammo? Did you pop them up? And I was like. So you don't have any ammunition at all? And it was pretty much decided right there. So you have no ammunition at all. And I kept typing that. You have no ammo right now. Yeah, I got some. <laughs> and then I gave him one. Dude, you're such a... I, I was right between the I eyes? I was not going to kill the guy until he told me he had no ammo whatsoever. And then it was like, well, now he has none and I can this steal. This wrong. Now I just want to kill him because he has no ammo. You're he has wrong, nothing. Dude. He's worth you nothing to me. You are so flipping wrong. You hurt somebody in a game. He had his gun out anyway. You jackal. So whatever. You, you you scavenger. You scab. Well, he didn't have any ammo, so he had, he was worthless to me, except for his food. So there. His can of dog food. <laughs> I took it all. His can, of, his can of Alpo. You, you killed him for a can of Alpo. Killed him for a can of Kittle Ration. What's wrong I with you, man? I love that damn game, man. Anyway, War Z. Uh, are we getting political here? Did you put this story up? This story was kind of one. It was. It's a game-related <laughs> story, but it's also... Speaking of WoW... Yeah. Oh yeah, the the uh, senator was it or Dude. congressman? Congressman. Congre well, she's running for. Con is she running for Congress? Or she's running. She's uh, yeah, Democrat running. In Maine, of all places. And, she and they decided to attack her. Chris, please, please go right ahead. I, I, do you have the story? If you ever need any proof that a politics is a bizarre world into itself, and b that that we are living exactly in the kind of bizarre future that where the world in the 1980 or that the movies of the 1980s presented us. 
Uh, you need no, uh, look no further than the race for state senate in Maine. And one of the strangest political developments in recent memory, Democratic candidate Colleen Lakowitz has come under fire by the Maine Republican Party for her horrifying record of backstabbing, murder, and even sorcery. She's a rogue. All of which Lakowitz has done playing World of Warcraft. Yes. I'm like, okay. You know, I've I've seen this story on what is it, Yahoo or this whatever. This is this has been on, this has been everywhere. This is in Comics Alliance, by the way. And, and you look at the comments from the folks, and the folks don't care. Nope, not in even fact, a little it, bit. It probably makes people want to vote for her more. It probably gets her the younger vote, knowing. I love I love this. Uh, somebody says she should counter. Don't vote for the main GOP. They support nerfing and and are noobs. That would totally <laughs> make me vote for this person. <laughs> We need to go to Maine just so we can vote for her. I would, can we pick up some lobster rolls on the way? I would, I yes. would tell her awesome. that. We'll, totally. I want some lobster rolls. We're willing to vote for her if she gives us gold in the game. <laughs> there you go. You're going to well, farm gold. This watch out. She's whored, so be careful. Oh. <laughs> she can't. For the alliance. Anymore. Anyway. Yes, they are attacking her over her WoW playing. That you is know, low. I've met. I'm going to tell it, you that. What, what links will they sing to this year? I tell you. Oh, well, let's see. They want to kill Bill, Big Bird. We're not. We're not a political show. But not. who wants? Who would kill Big Bird? He's such a nice guy. I want Snuffleupagus to die. Yeah, he's, I he's think you need to take him. But he's a he's a he's a thug. Snuff is just weird. Grover Grover's just obsessive compulsive. Where did he's I needy. My <laughs> Cookie Monster has an addiction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he needs to go to Cookie Anonymous or something. Remember that? He was on Family Guy. He's trying to cook it. He's trying to cook some of uh, it. Sp- <laughs> it's terrible. It's just oh, terrible. There it is. <laughs> My tech radar. What story. about Oscar? Oscar's like in a can, but you Oscar, go down and there's got everything in there. I told you, Oscar lives in a TARDIS. Oscar is Oscar yeah, is a time much. lord. He, he pretty much does live in a TARDIS. I wonder if he ever closes the can. Does it make the whirly noise and disappear? Oh God, that'd be kind of cool. So, okay, last story we have. Um, last story. Last story. Uh, this is just rumors, but we like rumors around here. But <coughs> the Xbox <coughs> 720, 720 is coming. I guess the numbers are just going to keep getting higher on these. It's just, we're just going to keep spinning more gonna, and more. It's going to go up to nine, nine, what, nine twenty. We're going to make three revolutions next time it comes around. <laughs> That's a 1080, dude. You just okay, there's, there's your name right there, the, the 1080. Xbox 1080. You just keep spinning around. The, uh, the Xbox 720, if, well, that is not what it is intended to be called. We don't know. But supposedly the launch time for this will be Christmas 2013. So that means this year at the... You get a, you get a Wii U this year. Well, this year at the E3, we will see this. E3 2013. You yes. Probably, now, that is if rumors prove to be true, and a lot of times this does. Um, the thing is, is that... Well, appara- save this episode because we're going to go into the rumors right now. We'll see how many we get right. Okay. Um, Wii U will sell a million copies. Okay. Well, the other name that is uh, proposed, Xbox Infinity. I have heard that. Okay, bounce. so to be affinity times two next time it comes around. Anyway, um, there, there's the terrible, terrible rumor that's going on about it that they're going to uh, institute all sorts of copyright protection on it, so you there, can't. You well, that's anything. been talked that's about. That's going to go through the whole of the video game. Well, game. the whole industry is kind of going that way yeah. because they feel that well, you know, people have you know people have modded their machines enough, and well, heaven forbid, somebody's going to be able to find a, a work. Well, there was that story this week. It's I think the, on in CNET. the GameStop, bye bye GameStop. I think it was on CNET or GameStop Pretty or GameSpot much. about that guy who's the who's an Xbox hacker. It was really good, a really great story. This teenage guy basically bought an Xbox, reverse engineered it, and did stuff with it. It's really cool, but. You know, of course, they are afraid of their of, of people reverse engineering products. Mm-hmm. You know, I can understand, but what can you do? I'm, but yeah, these this next generation of game systems really, I'm gonna be honest with you, is I'm an I'll predict I'll tell you right now. Wow, well, okay. Get my predictions. Oh, he's Chaparino. Was. He's he's the red he's the red um, he's El Chaparino, uh, the red um, the red grasshopper. It's a it's a Mexican uh, right. comedy thing. Yeah, you know I'm who El Chaparino ex- is. I'm getting no. back to my Xbox rumors, no, Mister Obscurity. We that one. Okay, but it's cool though. So the 720 uh, or Xbox Infinity uh, come with 1080p 3D support, supposedly, Blu-ray player and DVR functionality. Well, remember they s- one, they said that this is rumor. This is all rumor. A one-stop box, right? Uh, AMD graphics and a CPU. So, well, that's going to be interesting because if. One thing this generation taught us is that um, developers liked building for the Xbox and they hated building for the PS3. But they're saying two GPUs, possibly. Well, so this won't be a normal dual PC setup. 
We'll see what happens. Okay, uh, let's see. Inclusion of an AMD 7000 series graphics card. Which is, which will carry it for a while if they can program on it, yeah. Um, let's see. Um, which, by the way, the new the new machine I'm building for the studio will be going AMD. We're, I'm, I'm saying just given the burn, I'm getting rid of, I'm getting rid of NVIDIA. New and sharper features for the Connect. Sorry. Uh, storage and disk, uh, let's see. Okay, we did say Blu-ray drive. Uh, better storage. Oh, those chairs are horrible. Um, a new controller, also. Is it going to be a? And well, it's going to have connect. It's going to have a Connect esque application for it or and, device. And like you said, they are looking to kill the secondhand games market. No. Ah. Well, the problem is with second. And you know, the the they've been all mad that uh, you know the Game Stops of the world have been doing well. Well, and eventually they're going to. I've got a feeling. What's going to happen here is that I don't think your games, your local GameStop, is going to close. Your GameStop is going to still be open. You're going to be able to go down and buy your tool. You'll be able to buy a game. You'll be able to resell a game. But I think what they're going to do, it's kind of like what they've been doing this generation. If you get certain things like EA with Mass Effect, where it's, oh, hey, you want to do that? You want to use this function in Mass Effect? Okay, well, if you want to reactivate it as a secondhand game, you pay $15 to reactivate it. Yeah. That's what's happening. And, you know, I can see I can see the point from the developer side because you do lose money, but I also... Can't wait to see how the fandom's going to react to right. this. Right. Oh, they're probably going to hate it. Oh, we're, they're going to burn fan, cities. I'm going to hate it. So they're going to burn. They'll be cities. turning. They'll be turning cars over. Yeah, <laughs> burning tires. We're nerds. We can't turn cars. F over. You know, blur. <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> you know, kick in windows. You know, throw their inhalers at people. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, Are we getting a little oh, over? Oh, uh, we need to wrap up. Yeah. Uh, one quick thing again, guys. Uh, keep uh, keep me using your thoughts. She's she is getting better, but uh, she's still got a little bit of, a little bit way to go. Um, she will be back with us very. Very soon, I promise you. She'll be back with us, punching Jason and yelling at him per usual. Um, I want to thank the people here at the North Texas Comic Book Show. I do want to thank Look them as well. Look for them November 17th. They will be moving over to Dallas. Keep an eye on their Very Facebook soon. page. Keep an eye on their webpage. North Texas Comic Book Show, four shows a year, guys. This is your show. They've got some cool stuff here. And we want to also you know, thank them for letting us come out and uh, be Thanks, nerds sir. today. Jefferson and Linda for dropping by. And Drew giving us a picture, giving us some fart. Fan art, and keep your uh, keep your eyes and ears peeled for us. And where we're appearing next, we got news with that coming up. Check soon. check uh, check the banner out behind us. That's where you can find us. Anywhere you want to go. Oh yeah. Anyways, for this week, I am the Professor Christopher Nature. I am Jason the X. And this was MC. And we'll see you guys next week. Keep on nerding.